Hello, my dear friends, basic greetings from Kiev, the capital of Ukraine. And this is a short time to speak about cooperation and collaboration in science. Well, this video I devoted just to the question of a scientific cooperation in entomology, cooperation between different scientists in different projects on entomology science about on insects. Well, because of I am a research entomologist. My name is Dr. Viktor Fursov, entomologist, beekeeper, teacher. And this is my channel devoted to the science of entomology, of insects, entomology, and also some other aspects of life, traveling, English, and so on. But nevertheless, about entomology, what means cooperation in science? Science now becoming more and more international. Yes, why international? Because we're living in a strange time. And this is a time of cooperation and globalization. And actually, in the old time of a scientist of a 17th, 18th century, one just one person can do the science just traveling on the very tiny ship, beagle, and coming somewhere, or like a gumbled can cross the whole South America and making discoveries. But in the present time, just in the global time of practically a global planet is covered with capitalism in little part, with a little bit still with socialism. They're all involved in different programs, projects, and they all can communicate because of we have internet. We have different social media, and we have international journals, publications, which are spread all around the world immediately, very quickly, and we can find each other on different continents quite easily. And why we need cooperation, cooperation with mutual contacts between scientists, mutual in both sides, vice versa, it's useful for you, useful for me. And what means cooperation in science? But they, of course, in a capitalistic society, something is just, we are persuaded in this way of individualization, individualization in science and in business as well, and in, even in a whole society, which it became capitalistic in individuality, is becoming the first point of uh, development of society. Looks like this is a good idea, but nevertheless, with some social activities in politics, in social organization, in community, still have a great impact on development of society. The same social activity and cooperation between different persons, between different science becoming very, very important. And by the way, the recent publications, these are results of scientific research. And some scientists were publishing papers in great scientific journals in Scientific America or Nature. And the number of Authors in, the, say, in these articles can be huge. These can be 10 authors, 20 authors, or even 40 authors can be just for one page of some kind of message published in Nature. So it means 40 people from different countries they are cooperated in some precise scientific subject, in scientific project, scientific program, and everyone did separate part. And it's also quite important for entomology science of, about insects. Of course, all scientists publish in papers, and these are the important part of their, their scientific activity to make study, make investigation, make project, and make something, a research on a particular subject in entomology, and then publish it in different journals. Like here, this is Ukrainian journal, Ukrainian entomological journal. I can show a few journals. Or, for instance, this is Journal of American Entomological Society, American Entomology, such a scientific and public journal with very good, colorful publications and interesting results. Or this one, even with page of which is celebrating more than 100 years of uh, illustrated magazine of practical 
popular entomology, American entomology. This is a cover cover of a old journal. Oh, this is a journal of a Lepidopteris Society, International Lepidopteris Society, the major headquarter now just in America. I guess so with membership international directory. So all the scientists in different societies we have just a list of members. Some of them were from different countries. And by the way, all the scientists in societies or in scientific organizations, in museums, in universities, they have opportunity to copyright. Some of them will use this opportunity. Scientists or also just students, even scholars, even students of schools and colleges. Okay, we can have opportunity to cooperate together with a prominent scientist from another country or from the same countries. And it's quite easily now because we have social media, we have social communication through internet, through email, through different another social media and different social web sites and pages quite quickly immediately you can send message and you receive answer in the previous years we need to use this just postal letters to exchange lead by literature because scientists they need literature literature for analysis of a previous situation in the science so we could receive information the letters from other countries and our country and we can send it to another country but now we can send immediately very quickly just pdf file just for a few seconds 100 pages can come to across the ocean to america to brazil or south america other countries or just north america to united states or canada or south africa or australia anyway scientific cooperation cooperation between scientists how we can do it how we can do it in entomology because as i said individually and still pretending to be the most important part of a science of course entomologists we have a different aspects of science of, of course first of all entomologists they need to do to make uh, different entomological collections collections this is just the most important part of entomological research these insects can be quite a big size small size the smallest size some groups can be well studied easily studied or easily collected but some others quite difficult to collect some big size insects like butterflies and beetles from some groups and from some geographical areas are well studied and perfectly studied maybe in europe but quite badly studied maybe in africa in asia or maybe even in australia because of different far away locations or difficultly or some difficult access not accessible areas in south america so far if these beetles and these butterflies were collected in europe actually these were collected in ukraine and i show it usually for lectures for students of colleges and universities but some other insects they have a very tiny very small size and it's difficult to collect them to find them to study them and for scientists this is a subject of study insect and in entomology by the way is morphology physiology behavior systematics and taxonomy if you can find some insects you can catch them and can collect and store them in just in jars but if you collect in different groups of insects the most important part this is identification what is the name of particular insect the name of fly beetle butterfly moth some kind of a thrips tiny parasitic wasps like this yeah, well, just very big one, like the size of cat or size of a cockroach, not cockroach, even bigger than cockroach. You see how big are them. But in reality, the size of this insect just 0.5 millimeter. And this is a family Trichoramatide, my favorite group. I'm studying calcid wasps, parasitic calcid wasps, 
parasitoids, egg parasitoids, which are parasitizing eggs of different insects, including butterflies, beetles, and others. So, in entomologists, first of all, they need to make collections, and they can use different methods to collect material. So, if you use different methods, you collect more material in larger numbers, and actually you can collect different species in the, even in the same area if you use specifically different traps, traps or methods of collecting methods of rearing these insects, either from plants, from galls, from soil, or from uh, another insect, maybe, or from another invertebrates like parasitoids, where you need to collect some particular stages of another insect, like caterpillars, pupae, for instance, or pupae inside cocoons, or eggs of another insect or invertebrates, and rear them in laboratory in different cages to receive parasitoids, like here, to use them for study. But also you can use different methods and traps to collect this material and show them. And it's quite difficult for the same person in the one country to collect everything in this country. Because of uh, limited time, limited access, limited budget. And so you, it's difficult to find studied group of, or maybe a group is weekly studied, so you do not know the behavior, where to find, how to collect particular group of insects. Because some groups of insects still now, one billion of different species of insects in the nature. So different groups are weekly studied, even huge titanus beetle is a weekly studied, morphologically and anatomically already studied, 20 centimeter beetle, big one what to say about some other insects, so the smallest one, were also weakly studied, especially from the side of a taxonomy in systematic. Who is this? What is this? What is the Latin name? What is about identification of this species? So if you are scientists in some in one or another country which is not located in Europe or in America, and you have difficult access to the literature, uh, to uh, museums, to type material, to collections, that's very difficult to identify insects because they are so different. They are so different in morphology, so you need time for learning different morphological characters in different groups of insects. In beetles, these are some morphological characters, in butterflies, another, in hymenoptera, they're totally different. And what about tiny? Calcidos, for instance, or Braconid was, or Ichneumonid was. Morphological characters are different, and methods of study under the microscope, not under the like this for ornithologists, but for microscopy, you need to look under the microscope to look under the high magnification 200 times, 400 times, or one thousand times bigger magnification on a tiny slides. You can collect material, but how to identify for that? You need cooperation with people from another countries, what I'm talking about, cooperation. For cooperation, you need to contact with another people in other countries. Like I'm studying trichoramatida, I'm studying parasitic wasps. If you have collected some of parasitic wasps, small parasitic cuts, it was very tiny, one millimeter, two millimeters, 0 0.5 millimeters, and you, have, and you have your scientific purpose for identification of diversity of hymenoptera and other groups in your particular area of study in America, Africa, or Australia, or just Palearctic region or Asia. So I can assist you, for instance, in identification of a group of trichogrammatidae, tiny calcidwos, and particularly in mymaridae, also egg parasitoids mostly in trichogrammatid, which are a big group and distributed worldwide. And also, I can help you how to sort other calcid wasps. But for that, 
you need to collect material to use different methods like a malaise trap, yellow pan traps, and then you can send this material for scientists, for instance, to me or to my colleagues who are working in the same institute as I am in Institute of Zoology of National Academy of Sciences in Kyiv, Ukraine. Because we have a team who are a team of scientists, researchers who are studying different groups of hymenoptera, a very large group studying parasitic, studying predaceous hymenoptera like a formicid ants, some wasps, a group of wasps like a vitellidae wasps, chrysidae wasps. We have a specialist, we have taxonomists, and some groups of a calcid wasps also can be identified, like pteromalidae, little partially, eulophidae, trichogrammatidae, mimoridae, Euritamide, Torimide were all indicated here. Like here, for instance, Ensertide as well. Here, this is a group, Ensertide group. So this big one, Tano, Signiforide. So Euritamide, Euritamide was. This also Euritamide, Mimaride. This is a Pteromalide. This is a tiny Trichogrammatide, unique, unique Xiphogramma species. So this is Agaonide, we have a collection now that belongs to Pteromalide. So Eury, Eupelmide, and here some of Rotoidide is not distributed in our area, but also some Eulophide, this is a Torimide, and Eulophide just on somewhere here. Where is here Eulophide? This is a Pteromalide, Ormiride, Calcidide, Tanaustigmatide, Leucospide. So this Eulophide, Eulophide, Tetracampide. Eulophide, Tetracampide also can be identified by our specialist, Chief of Department, Dr. Alex Gumowski. So you can ask him precisely about scientific cooperation. But what about Ensertide? About Ensertide? Yes, here. This one, Dr. Simutnik. He's studying Ensertide, this one, this group. Dr. Klimenko studying Euritamide, Euritamide, and Toramide. And also, I have some publications about Euritamide and Toramide. I'm studying a group of Trichogrammatide and some Iowa egg parasitoids from Mimoride. So if you have some material which you, you have collected in your distant area, in different traps, in different methods, using different methods, you can ask advice and not only precisely advice, but ask about cooperation in identification of this material. So our specialist and me personally, we can help you in identification of this material, which is quite difficult for identification. If you use different traps, please collect material in different traps, like in yellow pen traps. You see here, this is a tiny yellow pen trap. So you can fill it with water, with shampoo, and a little bit with salt. Put it in these tiny plates, yellow pen traps, which is called yellow pen traps. So this is just half of liter. Fill it fully with water, with some shampoo, or detergent, so insects will fly around, fall down on water and fall down on the bottom of the plate. So in the, then you can use aquarium net, very tiny net with uh, this tiny mesh, with very tiny mesh. So you can separate, separate from water with shampoo, then clean it in clean water without salt and fix it, fix it from this plate, clean material in jars with alcohol, better with a 17, 70%, 70 or 90% alcohol. You can put it and squeeze them, put them inside jars with alcohol, 70 or 90% alcohol. So this material can be saved for a long time. 
or you can use plastic jars like here for instance these plastic jars and inside these plastic jars you may have from this trap full of different materials full of different insects of course not only hymenoptera but different groups of uh, tiny insects collected in yellow pen traps or if you have better equipment like a malaise trap so all these jars all these insects were collected in yellow pen traps and malaise trap and after that you can contact with people like as i told you our specialist so you have collected this material and we can assist you for instance in identity in sorting and in identification of precise groups of these insects so it's quite difficult we have technicians who can help us in sorting material so this is a tiny material which is collected already more than 10 years ago but perfectly stored in alcohol for more than 10 years especially if we can store it in a freezer with minus 20 so this insect will not be macerated especially if you keep them in minus 20 so we collect it in different traps big size like that i showed you so but these are called yellow pen traps so this yellow pen traps collecting yellow pen traps clean it in water and then put it when sorted again in the mesh in this net with very tiny mesh and put it inside jars with alcohol better with alcohol not another material because alcohol ethanol ethanol is a perfect substance liquid for keeping this material for four years for a long time for decades especially in a freezer if you put it in a freezer so you can store it for longer time unless you find specialists who can help you in identification so that's why cooperation misses a meaning of a separation of different activities of scientists when some scientists can collect so for example material can collect samples like here this is a big sample of insects and cooperation with another scientist you can cooperate in identification of this material and after that what means a scientific purpose all these two or three or more people who joined together in this project can publish scientific paper in a good and a prominent journal or maybe scientific book about the biodiversity of a specific group of insects in particular area if area is distant and difficult to access this area so the value of this scientific research increasing drastically drastically in many times because as the researchers from western countries like from europe america australia they do not want to come to this distant area because of unsafe situation in this country unsafe uh, politically unsafe ecologically unsafe well, just globally because it's difficult to collect material in tropics especially in different seasons wet season hot season country can be wet hot with a changed uh, weather field research is uh, very difficult not everyone from uh, between uh, from a uh, scientist who are working in a very nice conditions and comfort conditions in america in europe and australia want to come to a field place with hot weather hot mosquitoes malaria disease or some other strange diseases not only viruses but just diseases uh, vector diseases which are spread by mosquitoes and uh, flight different flights to collect these insects for the scientific study and scientific study is important to study either morphologically for taxonomy or just study this is a, using modern research of uh, in dna 
So taxonomical study of DNA is becoming more and more popular and very, very important. So this material can be used also for DNA study in a prominent laboratories of Europe and America and Australia. But first of all, you need to try, you need to collect material or in larger numbers on a special numbers of particular groups in a field condition. And then you can cooperate with scientists in another country. For instance, if you collected this material of tiny small parasitic wasp of calcid wasp, I'm very much interested to study this tiny so group of parasitic wasps like this, like this one, trichogrammatide. You can collect them either in different traps, or you can rear this material, these tiny insects, these egg parasitoids from different eggs of another insects. And this is uh, quite difficult to collect them and rear them because this is very specific study of behavior, very tiny. You must be very careful and very attentive. If you can receive some egg parasitoids, trichogrammatide and genus trichogramma or other genera, I will be very pleased to contact with you for identification. Uh, this is not a payable project by the way to the present time. This is just scientific interest because you have material and I have a brain in my skills. I have identification skills so I can identify this insect and also skills to write scientific paper because it needs to describe, describe carefully under the specific scientific methodological way this insect's behavior or maybe way of parasitization and tropical connections of this insect with host. And this is very important. And later, after the description, we can send this material for publication in journal. And of course, you need to contact with me, for instance. So this is my address. This is my email. You can say Gmail call. I will be pleased to contact with you for this scientific cooperation, if you have collected some materials from egg parasitoids, or if you need any advice regarding parasitoids, or maybe in other insects, or you, you are searching for cooperation in entomology with another scientist. If you are just beginner, beginning in science, beginning in entomology, so sometimes people are shy and difficult to study. Professor in a university who is maybe working in on chamber just very far away and very difficult to ask him or in his colleagues so you can drop your questions to me about another question not only about hymenopter about another insects and i will be trying to either to co consult you about the problem or maybe advise you specific expert who is who can know about it better than me because in entomology, we I separate taxonomists and people who studied behavior and systematics sep separated on different groups. People who study Hymenoptera, Lepidoptera, Diptera, Orthoptera, all the thrips, Tizanoptera, all different groups. We are, we are separate and we are studying precisely and deeply each group separately. That's why I am not specialist on thrips, but specialist on thrips doesn't know maybe nothing about parasitoids of another insect. But I know, by the way, that there are some egg parasitoids of thrips, very tiny, belonging to trichogrammatide, 0 0.5, not 0 0.5, but 0 0.2 millimeter size, very tiny egg parasitoids of thrips weekly studied groups. And if you can collect them in yellow pen traps or even in small, like this, traps, but this is a small one, better to use plates of a bigger diameter, bigger shape and deeper. So that's why even this one with a half of a liter, very effective trap for collecting small parasitic wasps. I will be very pleased for scientific cooperation. So this is about cooperation. And also 
for people who are watching my channel, just the regularists. So I guess so probably some people can understand that if you can collect this material, you can send this material in a, in a box. So put your material in your jars in the mail and you can send it by mail, but please close everything tightly because this unfortunately alcohol have evaporated and material probably becoming just lost because alcohol lost so sorry about this but other material is perfectly stored for more than 10 years so you can send this material just in jars very safely for scientific study for identification to me or to our laboratory to study particular groups of a calcid was for scientific identification and publication scientific results or to receive some advices about in other groups for people who are just watching this video just to enlarge their knowledge to have a broader view on the science of entomology science of insects i will be very pleased if you are not involved in entomology but it's interesting for you so we can cooperate also in the subject of support in science so you can support science becoming my sponsor so you can visit the sponsorship page patreon this is a patreon page which is working like a bank account and which is keeping some money if you can send several some dollars on this international account so they will resend it to me safely and secretly so all money will be safe and secretly saved on this account with some small charge so but you can participate in a project of entomologists me and uh, another entomologist as amateur or just like a sponsor or donate donator or just patron it's called in patreon patron who is supporting science not only in ukraine because there is no ukrainian science science this is a just international and even in ukraine we are just obliged we have obligation to publish papers in english language not in russian not in ukrainian but only in english so it means internationally accessible for cooperation to share the knowledge about insects about entomology and also to have better contacts with other laboratories with other people and to have kind of applied entomology which can be easily and easily used in other countries and our results are easily understandable in other countries so if you have idea to support entomology in, on my channel just to make a better video to make better equipment or have some trips and collecting of specific groups of insects or you can propose what to record on my video you can be my sponsor and send some dollars some scientific like membership like a membership small membership fee free free membership if you like of course so on this channel i will be very pleased and obliged your kindness your support and this is a very nice capitalistic motivation little by by little but more sponsors making just a very great motivation to work better more interesting to find better subjects better interesting objects for review maybe for review of some new scientific papers and better for development of a scientific cooperation and of course for education because my channel is dr victor Furso, entomology beekeeper teacher so i hope so that some of my lectures quite can be useful for students to make them motivated so that's why i'm trying to make motivational emotional and interesting video with interesting subject insects and another invertebrates as often as possible and your support will be really helpful thank you very much looking forward to see you as sponsor on my channel and if you are on gmail on g if you are on gmail you can send me message uh, and also on gmail you can write your comments under my video press like 
otherwise if you are just not on gmail you cannot make live on youtube because we are united and connected so if you are on gmail you can send me a message and write comment under my video this is also quite motivational and very pleasant and interesting because comments in some cases can be very interesting and very motivating thank you for watching looking forward to see you on my channel as a commenter a subscriber and as a sponsor or patron on patreon page thank you very much goodbye and see you soon on my channel bye bye and of course let's start to develop scientific international cooperation good luck in scientific cooperation bye bye